Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to day 45 of the free brew account. Uh, we got an amulet today. Not what we wanted, guys. So our challenges are going to stay uh, like they are. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to get that void. I mean, fully equipped with champion with accessories seems easy, but it's not easy. Especially when you are on a free-to-play account. Limited amount of resources. You're trying to, you know, farm the spider or something. And yeah, they're just not dropping. I mean, I have 141 accessories farmed so far. And barely any banners. I don't know if, if it's much harder for them to drop. On what difficulty am I farming? I think I'm farming... I think I did I did one stage 10 today, but it took three minutes instead of one. So I farmed a bit more uh, of stage nine, but yeah, it's a pain. It's a pain to get um, a banner, but now that I, I'm able to farm stage 10, I think I'll go for stage 10, which we get four and five star accessories. I mean, it's way better than anything else. And I don't think I can farm stage 13 anytime soon, which is where the real accessories coming in you know four to six stars maybe a six star banner with accuracy on uh, on one of the uh, the factions that i need yeah that will be that will be huge so um today big news saito full level 60 with masteries guys i uh, finally farmed the masteries I've, I've got a few leftover red scrolls i'm gonna farm them and probably gonna go for methodical so his damage increases by about 10 percent not about exactly 10 percent uh, when he's fighting the clan boss uh, that's gonna be cool eat either that or blood shield so what i had to do guys is unfortunately had to remove all my gear from my Gallic. so Gallic is currently naked <laughs> right there uh, i don't have a use for him just yet but i'm gonna equip him because it's a shame to have a level 60 at basically no gear so i will equip, equip him he was farming stage 12 3 way faster than what saito is doing saito does about 45 to 1 minute which is insane with the gear that he has and speed. Um, I mean, Gallic was way better because of the AOE that he has, much shorter cooldown. Uh, he needs way less gear. So um, I'll, I'll try and see what I can do in terms of gearing so I can have him as my farmer instead of uh, Saito at least. And since Gallic, I use him in other places, but I don't think I'll use him anytime soon in the dungeons or so. So now we're starting to form my team full with masteries. I mean, even Apothecary is almost there, guys. Like uh, 100 left for giant slayer so you see that my my gems are quite lower than they uh, used to be yesterday i don't know how much i had yesterday but yeah i just kept on pressing that refresh button have nothing on my uh on my inventory anymore as i'm not going for the fusion i'll just go for pick up one of these epics and that's gonna be it i mean ideally i would have had it by now i would have had it summoned so i could get the points but it's yeah, I don't have the void, the void rare. So uh, yeah, slowly gonna get him in the two weeks to come, but that's fine. We'll have an epic for our vault, and we'll see how how I'm gonna use him in the future. So uh, I'll show you, I'll show you guys what Saito does just now with with this kind of gear that he has. Almost all level 16s, but four star. Uh, most of them have got three four stars and one six star, one five star. So uh, unfortunately, his his. Um, His accuracy is low, but okay. Did we win defense? Oh yeah, okay. We win one of these on defense. So since I've changed my defense to this, so Saito, Brago, I mean, yeah, we've been winning some fights, but the bad thing is this team feels a bit weird. So let's refresh this. I'll show you why this team feels weird. Because we have a huge single target damage and I'll put this on auto so you guys see the problem on your, on your own. So see, Saito does his A2 on his own. Brago does his A2. Boom. Two targets left alive. So, unfortunately, now Saito won't go for the A3. I think. I think he won't go for the A3. He, he goes for A1 instead of A3. Oh, no. He did He did the A3. Okay. And he couldn't, he couldn't manage to kill Horde in there. And it wasn't an AoE because we had so many uh, of the enemies uh, die. So, I don't know what's going to happen here. It seems that mm, we're doomed. Okay, so the good thing about Saito is whenever he hits a, a target continuously, then he gains um, defense penetration. So you see that Vendetta hits his passive. So when he's three star ascended and higher, he gains um, defense penetration the more attacks he gets. So that was good. Um, I, I don't know if this is how the defense works. Do we win another one? No. So my, uh, my attacks have been a bit successful, but uh, this is the problem. If I don't 
if I don't really burst them down, then I'll have an issue. But Iron Brago is a, a nice solid burster on, on a single target on Otto. And after that, he can do his AoE, decrease the, the, the Termiter, not Termiter, the, the attack of everyone. And uh, yeah. So this is my arena team for now. We're gonna see how it goes. Look at that. So now the AoE worked because we had against us three or more enemies. So that's how it is. And Saito is dead and Brago goes in there for the change. I had somebody comment on giving critical rate gloves on Brago instead of defense. I don't know guys about that. Um, I'll try it. Tomorrow we have the artifact enhancement event. I've got some artifacts in mind to level up. And one of them is my five star amulet on Saito for critical damage. So that's pretty huge. I mean, 33% critical damage. It's not something you can have every day on your champions 45 days in. Uh, it was pure luck getting it, but okay, we're winning the fights. I'm happy about that as long as I find um, easy teams. My previous refresh, I had teams with Battle, Kazar in there, um, Valkyries. It was insane. So as long as I'm clearing these teams and staying in silver, farming silver, mm, I'll be at a good point, guys. Let's see, can we kill her? No. Single target? There we go. Okay. Do they have a revive or anything? So I also had somebody comment about Armina. Armina, as you guys know, is a better War Maiden. So a better version of War Maiden. Bad thing about Armina is she needs books. If I start go and book every epic that I have, I'll be at a big problem. So already I've booked my Umbral. And now you see that maybe I did a big, big mistake. Uh, because Iron Brago is here. Iron Brago does a solid, solid burst. He might be better, better to have in my defense or offense for Arena even. At where I am right now instead of Umbro, since uh, I can't be depending on, on Saito for the bursting. Look at that, he has a stun, he has provokes. He has so much stuff that I think I'll be using Brago forever. So uh, I'm even thinking of using my legendary skill books for, on Brago right now. I've got five. If I'm lucky, they'll all go on the same tree and maybe I get some um, increased chance to do one of his A2 or A3 skills. Depends on where it lands. If it lands on A1, that totally sucks, but for now, I'm not going to book him just yet. I'm not going to book Saito for sure. He's not book worthy comparing to Brago. Brago is a solid clan boss champion forever. Well, well, Bra um, well Saito is not really uh, going to be in my teams forever and ever. So, Okay. Ooh, we need a burst. I think this is going to be the first loss. So look at that A3. Not a big burst. As I thought it would be. Let me do a burst there with Brago. Okay, we're gonna be strong affinity versus that Mountain King, but is that gonna be enough? Okay, 17,000 crit and 12,000 crit. Warmaster helps there with the big numbers. Weak affinity. He resisted. I don't think the Mountain King has it. Brago showcase here, guys. So yesterday's video had the Brago name, but uh, today's video, <laughs> today's video, uh, it's all about Saito. Okay, that was a good good run. So wow, we did five wins. We can definitely do some more. So let's try and do some more. So replacing Armina uh, with War Maiden, uh, well War Maiden with Armina, would mean that I would have a seventy five percent chance to apply the defense down. And if I do, I also steal Terminator from the enemies. That's good. That's not something you don't want to have. Okay, that's a big burst. Ooh, we need Braga to do something. He seems to be very low there. Why did that happen? Is he going to die? Big AoE there, but no. Yeah, big AoE, but no, nothing really after that. Is he going to kick my ass? Okay, no buffs. Wow, that was a big burst. Okay, I did not expect that loss. Could I win this if I went in there again? Maybe. So if I tried Umbral here instead of Brago, she would just do her control thing. Let's see how different this fight would have been. So see, we got one resist with 200 accuracy. Come on. Whatever. And next up is going to be Saito doing his A3, right? Wait, he didn't do his A2 yet. 
don't think so. No, he did A3. Nice. There's a revive. Oh, she's dead. At least Seer is dead now. She had big damage. So now we have Saito left alone versus this team. Pretty weak in terms of A1 damage and we're dead. Mm. Yeah, maybe this team is not something we could have beaten er easily. So I'll do those next three fights uh, by myself later. But I want to try him out. The first try on the clan boss on Brutal, we have Magic Affinity. Okay, I'm not going to make the mistake that I did yesterday. So Magic Affinity, we are strong with Althar. We are weak with Brago. So yesterday I said uh, versus Spirit Affinity, we are that I was weak with my magic champions. That was a big mistake. It was just me confusing the words that come out of my mouth. Uh, totally my bad. My bad, guys. So, um, all ally attack in dungeons. No, all ally attack in all battles. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So, Arthur in the lead. Uh, he will also be doing uh, strong hits when he attacks. And the weak affinity will be Brago. It's fine. Brago is a monster anyway in terms of surviving hit so i wonder how much damage we'll do now with um two war masters and giant slayer on the clan boss today i think i did my biggest run on void affinity for the clan boss on brutal there's the defense now okay we're landing it with 80 accuracy that's good i thought that i would need way more for brutals because it's it's 200 for nightmare so i would i, I thought i would need at least 150 but uh, as long as we land that defense down, we're good. As long as the big boss is stunning Brago, we're also still good. Because he has huge, huge defense. Oh yeah, there we got some weak hits in there with with Althar. So once I get my um, Apothecary, who is very close to being the next four, uh, six star, with Giant Slayer, we'll be at a very good position. Uh, the problem is... Should I get a, a lifesteal set on on uh, on Apothecary? Mm, I don't know. Maybe the speed sets are way better. I, I don't think I'll be able to get the, the amount of speed that he has right now with uh, lifesteal sets. At least without farming Dragon. So, um, yeah. In the following days, I'll be testing out the dungeons where I can progress. For sure, I'll be testing out Dragon. And if I can go higher in Dragon, so I have... Four level 60s, but one of them is is Galek. So unfortunately, I don't know if I can use Galek in my team. So I'm thinking Brago, Saito, Althar, Apothecary, that's four. And then maybe number five. It's either going to be War Maiden for the defense down to help me kill the waves. Or, well, I don't think I'll use Galek. That's the thing. Maybe I'll use Umbral for controlling the waves. So I have double control with both Umbral and Brago for Brago does provoke and Umbral does... Well, also, she do she also does provoke. So, we are 11 turns, already 1 dead, 4.5 million damage. Yeah. Not looking good now with uh, Julie dead. Let's see Saito's damage, though, by the end of this. So, I wonder if we can reach, like, a million. I think so. Look at that. 71,000 crit. Ooh, big numbers there. By the boss. 16k, 15k, and we are not even 100%. Um, we're not even 100%, guys, on chance to crit. So 6.4. Look at those. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. See, so many resist uh, with Althar. That was bad. Almost died. That counter attack, yeah, it was worth it. I think it was worth it getting the counter attack mastery with. Uh, with my Saito, 7 million guys. So the amount of, um, of damage that we need for a 3 key on Brutal is... Wait, that's we need 22.5, so it's over 7. Uh, I would go for 8 just to be safe. 8 on Void at least and 7 on Affinity. Yeah, so it's about 7.5, 7.6 to get it. So we're over that 8 million. Oh man, look at that. Big upgrade to the Clown Boss team, 22 turns. Surviving with two level 50s in there. So let's go uh, run down on the damage. Althar, 3 million. B being weak affinity. No, strong affinity. But we're getting resists. Okay, I messed it up again. So yeah, strong affinity. We're getting resisted though. Um, Apothecary. Okay, he, he was healing fine. Juliana, 1.5. Brago, 1.3. It's just the War Masters proccing, man. 
Saito with a solid, solid 2 million. All about that Warmaster. Uh, very happy about this. So we went from having Galag having uh, 500,000 damage. Saito did a 2 point, 2.1 almost. I think with the 6 star ascension. And upgrading his his amulet tomorrow. Um, we're going to be at a good position. So where are we at? 16.63 for sure. I'm going to get the... Uh, in one hour? Mm. Okay, one hour to do the next key. And then we'll do maybe hard boss. I don't know. I have to think about that. So, um, Doom Tower, I still don't think I can beat the, uh, the, the spider right here. The problem is with the spider, um, it's just I need cleansers to beat it. So, Doom Tower, I think I'm stuck. Okay, so for dungeons, now that I think of it, I, I honestly forgot that I have Chumford, guys. I forgot that I have Chumford in there. Ooh, I forget that I have this also. Man, uh, who should I put in there to level up? I think it's going to be Ermina uh, to get her slowly to 40. And then we'll see what we have to do. So I, I forget that I have Chamford, but he can definitely be a solid carry for dungeons. Should I use him though? It's just going to make it too easy. Well, I should use him. Because it would be a waste not to use him. So, barely have any gear on him. He would give me that solid... Look at that aura. 50% ally HP in dungeons. I think it's way better than the 20% uh, defense that I get. So, yeah. That would be way better. Um, let's try out Let's try out some, some dungeons maybe right now. Now that I have Saito going. So, I did 14. 15, I'm strong affinity with some... Some of them I'm not. So should I go Umbral here or War Maiden just to take down the waves? I think I'll go Umbral just for extra control and we'll see how that goes. So two legendaries in my uh, in my team so far. Let's see how this goes. Look at that. So Brago did his A2. So on also he's gonna do his A3 next, which is the provokes and attack down. Okay, there it is. And the uh, bad thing about Umbral is that she has an accuracy chest, which kind of makes her very squishy. So we're handling the waves just fine, I think, because of the provokes and attack down. As long as Umbral is surviving, I'm happy. So she'll get a, a heal from the ambulance. <laughs> Apothecary. Anytime soon now. So she should get it next turn, right? There's a heal, right. There's a provoke again. We should get an A2 now from Brago. No, he did his A3. Uh, okay. Okay, so she was provoked by Brago. There's a nice AOE from, from Saito. Do we have a heal? Come on. Hmm, okay, she, she's gonna die. Don't need that. Yeah, that sucked. Put the carry there, should have gone for the heal. Anyway, we've got our poisoner, which is Althar, and I wonder if that's gonna be enough to kill kill the boss. We need a poisoner. That's a, the most important thing, to have a poisoner uh, surviving. Steal it, nice, we stole the block damage. There we go, 44,000 crit. So let's see, can we beat the dragon? I think we can, guys. Defense down. There you go. Two poisons. That's not bad. Two out of four. Weak affinity here with Althar. There's a defense down that we need on a single target. The boss didn't manage to do his, his big damaging there. Yeah, we got it. Got it for sure. You just need Althar to land his A2 again. Landed three. Oh, we're so good here. Nice. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use a refresh. I mean, I shouldn't use it in, in being a, a free to play, but with you guys uh, here, I, I'm bet. I bet you're wondering how high I can take this team. If I can get it to maybe 16 or 17, that would be so good. So the dragon's gonna do his big breath now, but I think with the poison, yeah, there it is. He died. Two minutes 34. That's pretty good, and we get a six star daze, which sucks. But the critical rate, their HP accuracy is pretty good as a substat. So uh, I'll do one refresh. Nah. 
don't want to drop in gems because the gems are fuel for future fragment summon but i'll need to use those anyway in the future it's just that i'm in no stress to use them right now that's the thing i should be using my resources um wisely and i should be just focusing on being efficient even when i'm not going for for the fusion right now so in this time you have to wonder if you're in the same position okay i'm not going for the fusion should i use my gems no you're not in a rush to to do anything okay uh, nobody's hunting you down to to kill anyone <laughs> to kill the dragon 20 okay so um i got the masteries because i really wanted to get my cider going start farming that silver um silver medals in the arena that was my biggest priority because i was already farming brutal so farming it in in three stars and in three keys won't make such a big difference so holding holding out pretty well guys holding out pretty well here block buffs is pretty solid by the way also uh it helps in case they get a turn and try to buff buff their teammates but look at the damage there from Saito. Big hits. I think we got it. Maybe we can do... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. We'll see where this takes us. Uh, the biggest thing would be to just take taking down the boss. Okay. Okay. Umbral being really solid here, surviving actually. So we didn't survive the previous one, but we did survive this one. Uh, I would love to get an, an attack down on the big, big, big boss. We need the poisons. Come on, Arthur. Does he have the poisons now? Oh no. So we're gonna get a big breath down from the dragon. That sucks. We're gonna die. No, okay. So just a single stun here. So there's a defense up that's gonna be helpful. Ooh, resist it. So Arthur definitely needs more, more accuracy. I think that's gonna be through the spider. I mean, I need an accuracy banner from, from his, from his faction. So sacred order, but I can test out the spider next. I think that's my issue next. Accuracy gear. Ooh, yeah, this is the, the difficult part. See? Getting very low here, guys. Can I farm this? Resisted, resisted. Yeah, that's that's the issue. So, um, gear. I need more accuracy for sure. If I couldn't land the, the poisons, then I'm, I'm in big trouble. Yeah. Our ambulance is down. I need to get lucky with poisons. That's the only way to beat this now. So the decrease attack is on. That's good. No giant slayer procs there, so he won't be healing. Come on, Arthur. One poison out of three. Yeah, we're dead. Next, next breath, we're dead. No attack down on the on the big dragon. Ooh. I was a lucky one. Maybe, maybe we'll get it, but it's it's just because we're lucky. If we get it now, we're just lucky. Yeah, we were just lucky here with this run. So stage 16, we're just lucky. Uh, Krigo Raid, five star gloves, that's good. Um, just lucky. Althar needs definitely some improvements in his gear. I'll show you guys what he has right now. So 79 accuracy, way, way worse than I thought. So a single, a single accuracy roll there. Do I even have anything in terms of accuracy? Maybe this one, if this rolls. So I'll try to roll this tomorrow. So I'll get double rolls here, get another boost in my accuracy. But I mean, it's the best kind of thing that I can have right now. So maybe if I get in the future, some kind of gear that has accuracy substats, even the shields right here with accuracy substats, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I need way, way more accuracy on my author, it seems. So let's try the spider. Or should I leave it for tomorrow's video? Okay, I'll leave it for tomorrow's video. It's been like 24 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. So far, it seems that Saito is proving to be useful. If you guys have any ideas on how to use Gallic, um, so since he's a bit of a dead weight, unfortunately, he was my pick in the beginning. I did take him as, as far as I could, but now I'll be just doing bad decisions if I go for his masteries and so on. So 
Um, just give me some ideas on how to gear him and where I think just uh, as, as my brutal farmer, 25 seconds would be so nice. I think he still needs lifesteal gear to do that though. Um, what's your what's your thoughts? Leave it down in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching this far if you have. If you haven't subscribed so far, please subscribe <laughs> if, if, if it's... If it's not too much of a bother. Thank you guys for watching. Download Bluestacks if you also haven't done that. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.